As you know, there's the hard way to do things in life and then there's the easy way to do things. And in this video, I'm going to show you the easier way to build up your SaaS company. So we're going to go through a series of no-code tools which are essentially going to save you a whole lot of time and headaches. And let's get started with the very first one from a design perspective, and that is Figma, which is the software which I use pretty much on a daily basis because I myself am a designer. And uh, essentially this uh, software is going to enable you to create uh, designs uh, in uh, a pretty easy way. And the best part of it uh, is that uh, it makes a uh, collaboration with uh, teams, uh, even rem remote teams, uh, very easy to do. So that's going to be my go-to whenever I'm doing uh, any design project, uh, especially because you can even leverage uh, UI kits uh, and uh, design files from the Figma community for 100% free. Now, the very next tool that uh, I want to talk about is uh, Webflow. And this is a website builder, which uh, is going to enable you to create uh, really stunning websites uh, in uh, not uh, a lot of time, and especially without touching almost a single line of code. If you want to create some crazy effects, uh, probably you're going to have to do that. But uh, for the very most part, uh, it's uh, really straightforward, especially if you know HTML and CSS. So I'm going to say that there is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get over that initial hurdle, it's uh, literally the sky is the limit when it comes to Webflow. And uh, I personally created my uh, website on the Webflow. So Gilio Designs was uh, created 100% on Webflow using all sorts of different tools, which made me create this website in a very short amount of time and with not too many difficulties. Like the entire process was straightforward. Um, I used some amazing assets which are available for Webflow, such as Flowbase, which really made the entire process easy to create. Now let's uh, go on uh, to the very next tool, which is uh, Bubble. And uh, if you're into SaaS, uh, uh, Bubble is uh, definitely a must to, ch to check out because sometimes you're creating software which is uh, very complex. There's a lot of different variables. And if you were to hire a developer to create uh, all of that and solve that all that complexity, essentially it's going to take uh, a whole lot uh, of uh, time and uh, AKA work and money. But Bubble is going to enable you to create uh, and uh, build uh, all sorts of different uh, apps uh, without uh, uh, having to touch uh, a single line of code. So it's uh, almost uh, like a Webflow for apps. Uh, and it's been uh, around for over 10 years. Uh, uh, I worked uh, on uh, several projects on, on Bubble, but uh, from uh, a high level, nothing really like too in depth. Uh, and uh, from my uh, beginner's experience, I would say it was really easy to use. Uh, and uh, it enables you to create all sorts of different flows uh, without uh, uh, too much difficulties and uh, or and especially the best part is not having to use code at all. So that's definitely a great uh, uh, thumbs up for Bubble. And then another software which is really useful is Zapier because um, a lot of the times uh, whenever you're building a SaaS company, you have uh, all sorts of different apps uh, which need to communicate uh, with each other and uh, they all live in their isolated and separate ecosystem. What Zapier enables you to do is to create automation so that uh, all of this uh, individual universes will start to communicate and uh, you can create all sorts of different automations with uh, most of the most popular softwares. So as you can see over here, uh, you can make uh, Facebook connect uh, to Slack whenever this input uh, uh, has been uh, created and then uh, this happens and then this happens. So there's a lot uh, that uh, you can uh, create uh, with uh, conditional logic and uh, data formatting. So really, really useful tool uh, and the one which uh, is a go-to if you're creating any type of online business really these days. 
Now, another tool which uh, I want to mention, and uh, this is not uh, maybe specifically uh, related to SaaS, but it's Medium. And uh, what Medium allows you to do is to create a blog post uh, uh, or a blog in a very easy way and uh, without having to create it in your own uh, personal website. Now, of course, uh, uh, SEO wise, uh, uh, it's always good to um, also bring your articles to your own personal website. But one of the reasons why I added Medium to this list is because uh, a lot of the times SEO these days can be really hard and uh, you have to build that domain authority on your Site, uh, in order to really get those uh, Google favorite, uh, you know, positive um, connotations up. So it's really uh, useful to build a blog on a rock solid domain, which has a lot of uh, authority and link juice already. So it's definitely one of those uh, um, strategic decisions which uh, you can consider doing and I've seen a lot of uh, uh, companies uh, you know small medium startups uh, using uh, medium quite a bit so uh, that's definitely another software which uh, I highly recommend you to check out as well as Typeform which uh, is uh, the easy and uh, most pleasurable way to create uh, forms uh, and uh, uh, basically ask people all sorts of different questions which can be from UX audits uh, to market research uh, to even uh, onboarding sequences. It's uh, really easy to create uh, these uh, really uh, exciting looking uh, forms and uh, Typeform enables you to do that in a very fast and efficient way. So if you need to gather data from the marketplace, uh, definitely check out Typeform as it's one of the best solutions out there really. So I really hope this video was helpful. If you need any help when it comes to design or building your SaaS company, just let me know in the comment section or feel free to get directly in touch with me and I'll see you in the very next video.